Hey, this is Mr. Ed, and this is the 2022 AP Chemistry Free Response Question Number 4. This is from the May 2nd exam. Uh, if you want to know more about MrAiden.com, just go to MrAiden.com. There is hundreds of resources, free response questions, multiple choice questions that are going to help you out your students. Or if you're a student, it's going to help you out to perform well in the exam. So let's get through this question. This is the start of the four-point question. So a little bit shorter of questions for numbers four, five, six, and seven. And this one starts off with a little bit of a stoichiometry type question. And it says calculate the number of moles of NH4, sorry, NH2Cl, and they give us the molar mass present in one liter of solution, and they give me the density. Now think about that density. It is 0 0.0016 grams of NH2Cl for every one liter of NH2Cl, which means if we have 1.0 liters of NH2Cl, then we have 0 0.0016 grams of NH2Cl. Obviously, that's just a ratio. If they gave us a different volume, uh, we could easily find the number of grams in that. And so what do we do with grams is we take our point 0 0.0016 grams of NH2Cl. We always divide by the molar mass, which is 51.48 grams per mole. And that would give us the number of moles. And we end up getting 3.11, but we're going to round to 3.1 because do you see how 0 0.0016, there's two significant digits. So let's round this to 3.1 times 10 to the negative fifth moles of NH2Cl. We always want to put our units and what those units are assigned to and do that to the correct significant digits. So that was question number A. Question number B is they say this molecule right here, NH2Cl, is highly soluble in water and they're giving you a little clue to the answer right there. Whereas NCl3 is nearly insoluble. Okay, and so we're going to explain this in observation in terms of types and relative strengths of intermolecular forces between the solutes and the water. Okay, the solutes and the water. And so uh, we're going to explain this. They've already given us the claim. Uh, the claim is that NH2Cl is highly soluble in water, whereas NCl3 is nearly insoluble. And so that is the claim. But we're going to go to the evidence now. Uh, so what is the evidence is we want to take a look at the intermolecular forces, the types of intermolecular forces between uh, these molecules and the water molecules. Okay, And so the NH2Cl uh, has London dispersion forces, obviously, has dipole forces and can exhibit our hydrogen bonding force, hydrogen bonding attractions uh, with water molecules. Okay, so that is the attractions that can be done. Uh, we can even say that the the NH2 side of the molecule can exhibit hydrogen bonding attractions with the uh, the O uh, H side of the water of the water molecules. Uh, what other evidence do we have? We have the N. Cl3 can only exhibit uh, some London dispersion forces and some slight dipole to dipole forces of attraction with water molecules. So that is our evidence. Our evidence came from the types of intermolecular forces. Now our reason is going to address the relative strengths of those. Um, the NCL3 has a relatively low polarity, uh, polarity or electronegativity negativity difference in the, uh, in the atoms. So the, this molecule can form only instantaneous 
instantaneous or weaker, relatively, relatively weaker uh, intermolecular forces of attractions with the water molecules. Whereas the NH2Cl can form uh, stronger, relatively, stronger intermolecular forces of attraction through the hydrogen bond, bonding attractions with the water molecules. And so you can see, what are we doing? This is a full orb dancer. Our evidence, we're going to what type of intermolecular forces can be formed by the molecule uh, with the water molecules. Uh, and then the reason is going to the st relative strengths, saying something about that the hydrogen bond attractions will be relatively stronger than the simple weaker attractions of the MCL3. And that is a full answer for that question. Uh, probably going to be two points on that question, one point on letter A, and we're going to get one point on letter C right here at the end. You can see the, the enthalpy of vaporization is 32 kilojoules per one mole, and they give me 15 grams of NCl3. So what do we do with 15.0 grams of NCl3? We're going to divide by the molar mass of 120.36 grams per mole, and that will give us the number of moles. And we get 0.125 moles of NCl3. You can see I rounded three significant digits because we had 15.0. And we always put our units and what it is assigned to. That will help me out later on. Because later on, do you see how it's 32.9 kilojoules of NCl3 for every one mole of NCl3. And we just have a simple ratio here, which means if I have 0.125 moles of NCl3, we can figure out this value of heat, the amount of heat required to vaporize it. And we can cross multiply, we can think about it like a proportion, and that gives us 4.10 kilojoules of heat to vaporize this many moles of NCl3. You can see I rounded three significant digits as well, 4.10. That is question number four from the 2022 AP Chemistry Exam. Hope that helped. Check out MrRaden.com. See you guys. Bye.